Hi, Jonathan here. Today I'm going to do some sort of live coding. Uh, I'll be editing the video, of course, to cut out the, the boring parts, but the goal of the video is to do some, some simple refactoring as a way to demonstrate how to, to use some Git, uh, Git tools, some Git features, to, to squash a multiple uh, commit. So I'm going to be doing a, a delinting on a code base that we use at work. Uh, the goal here is, of course, just to clean up the, 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 the lint failures. Uh, but more important for the demonstration here, I'm going to be creating a, a series of many, many uh, git commits, and then I'm going to reorder them, squash them, uh, edit them uh, as a way to demonstrate how uh, some of these features of git work uh, that you could use when, uh, when you have a large pull request or, or a large uh, feature that you need to work on, uh, and you want to simplify that to make the, the code easier to read uh, or the commits easier to read. Uh, maybe you even want to pull some of the some commits out of a large pull request to make a smaller pull request that can be reviewed and merged more quickly. Maybe you fixed a small bug as part of a, a large feature that you're working on. Uh, so so uh, things like that can be uh, can be done with some of the tips I'm going to show you here. Um, let's get started. All right, so here I'm in my uh, Git checkout. Uh, this is a REST API that we use at work. Uh, what it does isn't particularly important here. I'm going to run the linter here to see what kind of failures we have, and we have quite a few. So let's just get started here. Uh, I'll open up the, the, the last one down here, and we'll see what we have to do here. Um, it's at line 29. And the error, uh, again, on the shell is that uh, we're missing a comment. So let's just add a, a go.comment here. So we see the change here, very good. Let's create a message. So we've created a single commit. If we look at our history, of course, we should see exactly what we expect. Let's run our linter again, and let's pick the next one. Once again, we need to add a comment. Okay, let's save this one. Now, if you'll notice here, there's a way that we can simplify this code. I just happened to notice it, of course, as I'm, as I'm doing this, but this, most of this function is, is not needed. I'm going to simplify this. That does exactly the same thing. Um, but it's not really part of, of adding uh, a comment, so I'm going to make this as a separate commit. All right, so now if we look at our history, we can see that I've added three commits, just as expected, but two of them are closely related and should probably be merged into a single commit. So let's do that with the git interactive rebase option. Uh, to do that, you just do git rebase minus i, minus i means interactive, and then the branch to rebase against, in our case, master. And this pulls up an editor where we can uh, select the order and the commits we want to to rebase. So let me explain that briefly. Uh, you can see the three commits we've already created are shown first. And uh, we see this word pick, we see the git sha, and then just the first line of the description or the, or the git commit title. Uh, we see that for all three commits. So down here you can see a list of the va available commands. Uh, the, uh, each one has a shortcut or a single letter version. Uh, the default is pick, as you can see in our examples up here. All three are set to pick. And that just means use the commit as it is. Uh, the other options are, are listed. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, just a few of them that are most uh, useful. Um, the one I'm going to use right now is uh, F, or fix up. Uh, the description here is pretty, pretty useful. It says it's like squash, but it discards the commit's log message. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to come up to the second commit, and I delete pick, and I put F in its place. And that, what that means is it's going to fix up this commit into this commit. Uh, and, and as we just read, that's like squashing it, but it discards the commit message. So this will be as though I had just created both commits at the same time with a single message rather than creating two commits. So once I've done this, once I have this uh, ready, I just save the file. And now if I look at my history, I see there are only two commits. And let's look at this one in particular. We see that it has two lines changed. 
exactly as though we had created them as a single commit in the first place. So that's pretty handy. So let's keep going with the next one. All right. This one is missing a comment also on line 16. So let's add a comment. And let's save that. I'm going to shorten this to just GoDoc because I intend to squash this into the previous one with GoDoc comments. So I don't need a long explanation here because I know it's going to go away. So it's just a note to myself right now. Now let's go back to our editor and I saw another possible simplification. This can be shortened to a single line. So let's do that. And let's make that its own commit as well. Again, it's just a simplification. I already have a simplification commit. I'm going to squash these together in the future. So I'll make a note to myself as so. Let's keep going. Uh, another missing comment on line 20. All right, let's save this one. Again, a short description. You can see this gets quite repetitive. I'm going to zip through some of this. All right, so I've gone through several here. Let's do another interactive rebase. So now we can see quite a number of commits. Um, many are related. So the, the interesting thing here is that you can actually reorder these uh, lines as well. So I can, I can copy this. Or, or uh, yeah, copy that, and then I can move it up here beneath the other code simplification uh, commit. And if I change that to F as before, uh, this uh, commit BF1 will be merged into 9EC. Everything else will remain as it is. If I run it again, you'll see that, that that F commit has now been squashed. Of course, the SHA changed here as expected. Now I have all of these that are related, but belong up here. So let's do the same thing. Let's merge. All, let's copy all of these. Move them up here. And then let's do F on all of these in a row. Now if you look at our history, we have once again only two commits. If you'll recall the two code simplifications I did, they both show up here in the single commit. And if we look at the uh, details of this commit, we'll see quite a number of comments that I've added. I hope that's clear. Let's keep going. All right, now I want to show you another technique that can be a shortcut in some cases. Uh, let's say that you're, you've just committed something and now you've created another change that could go in the same commit. Uh, there's a really easy way to just include that. So let me show you. As an example, I just created a commit that adds GoDoc, okay? Now let's make another GoDoc change. Now, rather than doing git commit, as I normally would, with a new message, for example, I can append this to the previous commit with the amend. Now, this pulls up the previous commit's message already. I don't need to change it. I save. Now, if I look at the previous commit, you see that it has two changes in it already. So, git commit amend is analogous to the fix up option in the interactive rebase. So let's continue. So our linter now returns no errors. So let's do a final cleanup on our uh, on our pull request. Do one final uh, interactive rebase, and we see we have a whole bunch uh, again of these uh, go doc changes, and then uh, two other unrelated ones. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move the code simplification. I'm just going to reorder that and put that first. Then I'm going to squash all of these with the, the fix up command. Uh, 
Now I'm going to move this one out of the way. I'm going to put it up at the top as well. So we should have three uh, commits. Notice they're not at all in the same order that we started in. Um, the, the end result should be three commits, code simplification, rename Firebase uh, variable, and then the go doc stuff. Um, let, let's see if this squashes correctly. No problem. So now we see our three commits. We're ready to push this up for code review.